we'll yeah. get it between I, I, matches. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy. So with yeah, that. we're uh, obviously the first thing you want to do in Modern Masters is open a card that's worth a lot of money, and then okay. uh, the next thing you want. Oh, New Mount the Nummies in. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Two Twitch streamers. We will we will not snipe his uh, Twitch, so we'll both uh, we will not. We're not. Uh, well, I'm, I'm, we're sure not that saw, people, I'm sure so. he saw charging badgers. It's like, oh, I gotta go yeah. hop on there. Yeah, I'm sure. All Can right. You maximize the window, please. Yes. All right. We got. Uh, jeez. Nothing that immediately is. So we're not out. taking the rare with yeah. that with that casting cost. It's a sweet card. Yeah. Um. Boy, uh, I'm seeing Fiery Fall is kind of nice because it, it, it's a removal spell, but it also keeps you kind of open. Yep. Um, I think Narcolepsy keeps you open. Oh, th um, I didn't see Narcolepsy. Let's grab Narcolepsy. Or the Bounce Land, honestly. The Bounce Lands are... Yeah. This is yeah. a fairly weak pack, so the Bounce mm -hmm. Land is, is a consideration here. Even if you don't uh, run those two colors or just one of them, it's a fine. It taps sure. for two. Um, Black has a lot of cards that are worth splashing, and green enables a lot of splashes. Yep. So I think that this, even mm -hmm. though green black is not one of my favorite archetypes, or at least they didn't seem like there was a huge a lot of uh, or a huge amount of synergy in it. Um, I think that ha being able to splash black blue is, is also really fairly. I feel like blue is a support color, not a main color. Sure. So I'm okay with passing narcolepsy. Yeah. No, I like the I like goes. the rock farm here a lot. <laughs> we were just talking about those down here. Um, but arrest. Ar I see arrest here. Um. So this the arrest is a common, right? So an uncommon was taken. Yeah, uh, I see. Yeah, so I see arrest and agony warp are both really good removals. Agony warp, it's super easy to get a two for one with, but it doesn't necessarily go with rot farm, which doesn't isn't a huge thing. Yeah, we won't. But I'd rather stay open. I think I'd rather stay open too. I like arrest here. Um, smoke yep. Raider's great in the elementals deck. Um. Lodestone Mirror is great in the L, uh, Artifacts deck. I think this deck, this card is actually pretty good. I think it's a fine card. I think it's good in any, obviously a 3 for a 3-3 three, three in any deck. Yeah. Um, Sphere of Suns is okay as well. I, th I think Arrest is the pick here, though. Are you good with that? Yep. Oh, we're both typing. <laughs> I, I will man chat. Okay, alright, yeah. Are, but yeah, Fiery it. Fall was definitely being on my consideration. It's actually the first thing I highlighted. Um, because yeah, I, I, again, removal and staying open is pretty valuable. Yep. Um, but I, I do think that, uh, oh, we could get another bounce land that doesn't have the same colors. I like. Well, let's see. I see a nest invader, which I really like. I like nest invader. Um, the artifact deck is being passed to us. Uh, we did pass the mirror. We could keep passing artifacts. I yeah. I mean. So in terms of decks that are being passed to us, we have Artifacts, um, Nest Invader is good. Yeah, I'd say uh, Artifacts... Thief of Hope is also has to be one of the best spirit cards, so... It, it feel, I, go ahead. Yeah. It feels like Artifacts and, uh, yeah, and maybe, like, a, some sort of five-color, like, uh, elemental deck. I don't know if that's, like, a thing, though. So what are we feeling? Are we being, I'm feeling... I'm between the Bounce Land and the Nest Invader. Do you have a preference between the two? Because I really don't. Thief of Hope is actually also pretty good. It is very good. Um, Thief of Hope goes with Arrest as well mm -hmm. because white is the spirit stack, uh, is combos with spirits. So I'd be okay with that. Okay. See where we go. Oh, and I just double clicked and picked another Thief of Hope. Thank wow. goodness that I grabbed that, <laughs> but um, I don't know what else was in that. <laughs> Wait, I can see it on, on chat. Uh, let me see if I can get a screenshot. No. Nah. Ah, I didn't get it in time. Yeah, don't. Well, don't worry okay. about it. Um, all right, so we have two Thief of Hopes, perhaps accidentally, perhaps <laughs> potentially. <laughs> no, I meant to do that. I was just, I just saw it. Like my mind processes much faster than everybody else's. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. Later. It, in um, milliseconds. So there's nothing else there. Um, so I see a Ness Invader. I see a Dark Steel Axe. Um, I think if we're trying to be spirits, then Axe. Let me ask you something. Yeah, uh, yeah, sure. I don't think we'd splash a nest invader. No. Right, I'm just not going to click again. I'm just going to reserve cards and we're going to talk because that <laughs> that could have been so bad. Um, um, scuttling death. Yeah, scuttling death. I think is the pick. That's a fine card. <sighs> death denied is also good in the deck. Yeah, I I think so, but I think we want less effects of these I th than we do of scuttling I, death. I, scuttling death. I, I wow, people do not like the nest invaders. I mean, the other thing that we could be doing is a black. 
green like black green is supposed to be the sacrifice deck and if we have you know uh soul shift works fine with that and nest invader works fine with that so we don't necessarily have to be straight up spirits um if if we think that nest invader is a like if this wasn't a, such a good thing in the spirits deck i think i'd be much more tempted than nest invaders sure. Yeah, scuttling death. Yeah, I'm not clicking again though. Oh, you, you were okay. <clears throat> Just gonna clock these out. Yeah, I I totally agree with you. Kami, Pally Cooling is that? I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. I I think that's way too late for a Ness Invader. Oh yeah, so Kami, if we want to go into the spirits. Well, I mean, um, we're, I think we're I think we're in spirits at this point. I don't think we can move yeah. off it. Yeah. I, I think green is still really open. Um, and we don't necessarily have to be... I don't know. I, I think Kami's fine. I, I, I think that, that Lacerator and Vastwood deserve some sort of consideration. Core Minister is very good in the Bloodthirst deck. It absolutely is. Um, but I, I think... I, let's let's try and make a stand here in the Spirits deck. Um, I think that seeing these guys so late... Um... Okay, so we have Dread Drone if we're still looking for a sacrifice thing. Um, I don't think this is the right time for a Death Denied. Um, Scavenger Drake? I used to get wrecked Ghostly by a card Changeling like this. Ghostly Changeling is a spirit. It is a spirit. Oh yeah, duh. That's that's So Scuttling Death gets back a Ghostly Changeling. Sure. Yep. Sold. Um, man, though, there, if, if there's a sacrifice deck here, it is open. <laughs> uh, but I think, I think yeah, let's, let's, let's try and stick on the spirits plan. Yeah, let's let's see where it goes. This is a deck I wanted. I wanted to try and see how it goes, and uh, yeah. Um, so this is our first pack, I believe. Yep. Um, so I see an evolving wilds. If we want to try and splash something, I don't think we need to. Um, I don't know how good Des Dusk Hunter Bat is. So I'm th I'm looking either a death mark or a death denied for this sideboard. Something is gonna die. Death um, Denied is not necessarily a sideboard card. It is no, no, sorry. Yeah, okay. Either Death Denied Got or it. a Death Mark for the sideboard. Um, I feel like if this Death Denied wield, somebody another one's going to wheel. Let's take the Death Mark. Yep. It's okay. A good I, I would card. exactly. I would rather have a good sideboard card than a. I'm going to grab this Bloodthorn Vampire just in case to kind of hedge us. I don't think there's. I don't think there's much hedging in this. I mean, are we going to? Plummet. Waking, Waking Nightmare is a very playable arcane card that triggers Thief of Hope. It's not sexy, but it works in the deck. I don't like that. Okay, make your pick. Okay. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think Bloodthorn Vampire works really well at all. Is the thing. Well, here, now, what the hell? It's a late, very late bounce land. I don't think it should be going that late. And apparently nobody I'm has an artifact. It. Why? Because we're we're white, and we could want to splash okay. blue. <laughs> I think... I, um, Not really. Wow. Well, Graph seems to be. <laughs> I guess this is a card that we could potentially have to play, um, and now we have the Chancery for the. So I'm just gonna grab this unless we want to hate something. Yeah, grab the. Um, hate the Helium Screw. Okay. I would. Sorry, when you said yeah, shrivel. I thought you. Okay, it doesn't really matter. I don't think. Let's grab the Shrivel. Who knows? I like Shrivel in this format. There's sure. lots of one drop, lots of tokens. Uh, I think it's a sideboard card for us, but uh, I actually like it in the format. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As we're talking about one drops, probably not going to play the Dark Steel Citadel. What's up? Oh wow. Yeah, good, good call. I, I forgot Moldrifter is in this thing, so uh, having a access to white or having mm. access to a blue. Oh, I love me a Spellblade. I don't know if it's. I dislike this card. In the, I dislike this yeah. card. In the set. I liked it work in the well. format that it was in. And I think we have some pretty solid choices here. Actually, Pillory. Oh, Pillory. Pillory. I didn't even see Pillory. Uh, what's, go, can you scroll so down? I can't just naturally look at the cards and be like. Okay, for sure. And, and, and know what they all do. So it, Pillory Sleepless really is one of the rewards yeah. for being in this deck. There's, I don't think there's any other it's deck like that wants arrest, it. We could, take, we could take a chance at it wheeling, but no. it's so good in the deck. There's that Bounce Lands and. It. Yeah, I think we take this. I'm hoping that we get at least one of these spirits. I think back. one of those are going to wheel. That'd be great. I need to stay more focused on, like, not just pointing at cards that I like. Like, there's no way that we're playing that. Ha! 
Holy oh, yeah. hell. Slam it. And there's lots of good stuff. Wow. There. That is fantastic. Profane Command, I think LSV rated it as a five star card for limited. Just it does everything you need. It gets you, if you're winning, it does, it finishes the game. If you're losing, yeah. it brings you back. Yeah. Um, it's like a, it's basically a split card. One, and one split is, on one card it says value down, <laughs> where you kill a creature and get a creature back. And then the other mode of it is you win the game, where you make them lose a shit ton of life and then. Yeah, this is actually an incredibly good pack. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Nameless Inversion would be a slam dunk pick yep. most of the times. Uh, Sunlance, Kozilek's Predator, Wrecking Ball. Um, what did I say? Sunlance already? There's like four or five very good cards in here and a lot of other good cards for decks. Somebody really doesn't command. like black. I think if I if I open this, I'd have to have it's something. black. It's tough. Yeah, but it's a really good card. Anyways, I'm... Scrabble. Sweet, so good, good pickup for. But here's us another nest invader that can go around the table yeah. way too late. Well, no one to our right. Sorry, I'm, I'm really gun shy on the on the clicking now. Um, <laughs> I I got lucky. Ghost with console. Uh, is that good if if you want to cast a bunch of spirits? Yeah, yeah. that's that's another reward for being in spirits. <laughs> So yeah, uh, it's, it'll be a little bit difficult to yep. cast, but I think it's. I again, think we're gonna try and look for some evolving wilds, even though we're only at two. Yeah, deck. one or two wouldn't be bad. Um, but yeah, yeah, we're gonna take it again. We could try risk wheeling it, but it's just not no. worth it when it's so no. good. Oh back. my god, this, this, yeah, no, it's a. I guess it is. I mean, most of the time. I don't know how much you're going to be doing the. So while, while we're between picks here, we're we're at like an all-time high viewers here. So thanks everybody for tuning in. Uh, we normally stream on Monday nights, so if you like what you see here, um, you know check us out on Monday nights. We're we're from uh, Matt, Ryan and Brian from Madison, Wisconsin. We and, do the and, YouTube and I mean, channel. Uh, you guys seem to think this is a good deck. This is kind of par for the course for us, you know. Just we just, just slamming. No, <laughs> no it's, it's our last. Not. Go watch if you've yeah. watched us the last few weeks. Our drafts have been. Uh, the I don't know how DTK has gone for everybody else, but um, it's kind of been weird the last few weeks. Like I don't yeah. know if people are figuring out the format, but just oh. we, we've had a hard time figuring out what's open the last couple of weeks. So it's kind of nice to get into a format where we can pick a deck, yeah. and settle into it fairly early. I, I think so. we just grab, yeah, the Strider. Gets back a lot of stuff for us. I think so. Um, yeah, the we would really just be focusing on the discard ability of Guild Mage, yep. so that's not yeah. really a consideration. Dread Drone's not great. Yeah, Moonlit yeah, Strider. I, I, is fine. I think Dread Drone is perfectly serviceable. I actually like Moonlit Strider. It dodges removal for your more important creatures like Thief sure. of Hope and gets value back by getting a soul. And there is a lot of removal back. in this. We really, we really want to pick up the uh, Spirits, Tendrils of Agony card, the uh, Sacrifice yeah. Spirits oh, yeah. and Gain Life. Uh, that's high on the list at this point. Yeah. And we do have... Yes, yeah, so we're already sort of draining people. Right. Um, uh, Waxman Baku is a awesome card in this deck. Oh, yeah, yep. <clears throat> so this Another. is... Uh, we talked about this in one of our primers. Uh, this guy, like, over the course of the game, just accrues value, and then you can go Alpha Strike when you mm -hmm. just tap down. You just pay one mana and tap down their team. It's a really, really good card. I think I think we're starting to get a lot of ways of finishing the game. Sure. I, I think, think we need some early... I think we want to get some early drops. Exactly. Sure. Yep, we want some early pressure now, and we want some... I think a few more control options. Mm -hmm. Like, an Arrest and a Pillory is a great start, but I feel like this set is going to have more removal than a typical set that we've how do you, seen in a uh, long time. For chat, how do you guys feel about Splash? You know, we have two Bounce Lands, and they're both one of the two colors. Do you guys like playing the Bounce Lands in a deck like this? If uh, Would you play two of them? Can you play one of them, or how do you guys feel about it? I, yeah, we absolutely want some nameless inversions. <laughs> I would love to see that. Uh, Thief. Thief. Um, Everflowing Chalice is good. Yeah, I can we, see we're that. not really ramping into it though, and with something like Ghost Council, it doesn't do much for us. So I think uh, the old Thrive Thrungbird combo coming together. Yeah, so everyone likes the bounce lands. I that we I certainly would lean sure. towards that. So um, so yeah, yeah. So thanks for the thanks for the uh, and there's not really anything, bolstering of our opinion. There's not really anything in this set that really punishes them, like. Fulminator Mage at Rare. <laughs> what? Fulminator yeah, Mage I'm rare super gun-shy about them in, like, Cube, which is where I have the most yeah, experience yeah, with yeah, them, because yeah, yeah. there's, like, you, you know, Cap Size and I've, Trade I've, Wind Rider, but I think in this yeah. set, yeah. And even if, like, and I'll still run them in Cube, even knowing that I can sometimes lose a game to a bad card. Yeah. Um, 
All right, so here's an interesting Yeah. Because there's nothing nothing spirit-y, but I think there's some good options. We have Sign in Blood, yep. Tumble Magnet, mm-hmm. Vampire Last Raider. I um, don't think Tumble... I like Tumble Magnet more than most. I don't think it's for us. Okay. I like the Last Raider and the Sign in Blood are my two... Are the two things that I'm I'm really seeing right here. Um, Last Raider, because it's an early drop, um, and I think we can kind of grind the we are the heavy back. back so the sign in blood is uh yeah i actually like the sign in blood here over the I, I think right. i do too um that yeah chat seems to agree with that okay. as well great thanks guys yeah i think and i think it's i mean it's something we can do on two, two why Baku. i know but why <laughs> don't worry <laughs> don't worry about well, what... wait there's also a change link they're here. both three drops and Baku is just so much better in this deck uh e- I think normal we are really heavy black. I, I think you're probably right as a default pick, but I do think the changeling deserves some thought here. I like I I I like I like the changeling, okay. but I, I mean yeah, the the Baku is just gets you so much value over the course of the game. Mm-hmm. Um, How many non spirits do we have in this deck right now? Uh, we have a vampire. A vampire, which may get cut. We'll see. Is that it? Yeah. Let's try. Yeah, uh, to... sure. Well, we were, we said that we wanted either this or the Culling other. Calling Deus is not awful. Um, no, I think I think we want the yeah. Strider. We're rel- I mean, we we're, we're heavy on threes here, but we're not. We only have a five and an X spell after that. So I mean, we're and I think not bad. Yeah, I, I I do think that we need some tools to deal with bloodthirst because, uh, like we can drain and try and race that way, but like we don't really have stuff that gets in the way to like mm-hmm. stop them from getting that. You know. Uh, uh, maybe hate the wrecking ball because the they were ball. chat was saying that that is the other card that can get the bounce lands. Oh, good call. <laughs> <laughs> so sure, yeah. Cha- All right. I don't think we play any of the other ones. Yeah, I like this card. Uh, All right. I just I love the like you burst into flames ideas. I, like I'm not saying the for flavor. our deck. You like the flavor. Yeah, I like the flavor. Yeah, sorry. How about another <laughs> another wrecking ball? Um, otherwise, because our other option would be the bloodthorn vampire, which I don't. I if just... they if they're both going around this late, I have to think no one's really in red black. So maybe we just take the vampire in case we need an extra in case we're against a really aggressive deck and want a two because we are short yeah on twos. sure that's a good call. I'm not saying it's me. Yeah, I think I, I don't even know if we'd run uh, the first one. But... I don't. Yeah. You're driving, I'll let you make yep, it Yep, I, I think... Well, that makes that pick a little bit better. Or do you still want the Waking Nightmare? Do we have one still, or no? We don't have any of... I don't know if we... Do we really need another five? It's pretty Dread sweet. Dreadrone's not... Um... Let's, let's grab her for I the grabbed the Nightmare. Game. Okay, yeah. I, I think I would have... I. Yeah, take the Bounty. Mm-hmm. Do we have any flying? I don't think so. No. I'd rather leave a card that's going to screw somebody else out over. Yeah, I don't really know what's. I mean, I, either my understanding of this format is really bad, or, um, or something weird is going on, because I'm seeing a lot of cards that I really like pretty late. Um, but it, I, it I, is. I, I mean, it's a set designed for limited. I'm not like yep. you're going to see good stuff go sure. late because okay. no one else yeah. is in the deck. <laughs> All the stuff. Dismember. Uh, it's. I think it's 100% dismember. Okay, yeah, I just didn't know how much All's Dust is worth. It's not. Okay, great. I am really happy to see that. We do need to remember that All's Dust I'll is... double check, but um, I, think it's, honestly, I think it's only a couple tickets. All's Dust isn't as good against us as it is against a lot of other... Yeah, it's it's listed as 350 right now. Yeah, it's it'll drop in okay. at least half Yeah, no, that, dis- so. Dismember is a slam then. Dismember is awesome. Yeah. It might, it's probably the best uncommon in the set, and we need something like that to get something big off the table early, so... Sweet! And with our thieves, we can casting it yep. for one is not yep. that big of a deal. Yeah, no, this is. Dude, what was the what? Is there another card? Yeah, there was, but it wasn't anything that yeah, stuck in my mind. Cast. Okay. cast. All right, perfect. I clicked on this twice, or at least I thought I had, so I'm not going to do it again. Um, so Chad's just going to have to be patient. Just what does a one? You can right click. Can't you just right click and just make pick or something like that? Where is your oh, mouse? Is yeah. it upstairs? Yeah, it's upstairs. Oh, add to your picks. picks. Yeah, Sweet. So do it that I should just be doing that. Uh, bu- 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 bu. Grasp as a sideboard card? This is the first, like, 
Yeah, it's a pretty really sketchy pack we've seen for a long time. It's so not, we could take another. It's not even uh, burst lightning. What burst lightning? A Ness Invader number six or so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, throw, I would. I guess we take the grass. There's a Thalid. <laughs> throw yeah. back to my. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I, does fortify do anything? For I don't us? think so. I mean, we could do it. Use it as a defensive, but there's no. I mean, yeah, it's no, like a trumpet blast with an additional mode. The, I I would I would hedge and take the grass because artifacts is a deck, and we board that in a hundred percent of the time yeah. against artifacts. Sure, sure. This is yeah, that's unfortunate, but <laughs> wildfire is here. Lots of uh, so we should see some. We should see more black. I think this pack. Oof. Man. <laughs> what happened to our spirits? I don't know. So the option here would be hate a burst lightning or a conclave phalanx. Mm -hmm. Phalanx is not a great card. No, we're not going to play burst lightning though. Alloy mirror is uh, a card we could play since we are we have some heavy recall requirements. That's not a bad thought. I'm not a huge fan of it in our deck, and I don't even know if it would make the main cut. I mean, we're not playing a third. I don't even why no, you even want to play no, both of those. No. Um, I, I think. I mean, we're at 22 cards in our deck right now. I mean, we have a few cuts, but I have to imagine we're going to get more. I wonder if the burst lightning is just worth sure. hitting here. And maybe something. The phalanx may just wheel if that. Yeah, was, you know, it's not like, that great. Yeah, let's let's just. The swordsmith to get dark seal axe. Okay, we could take another th sign of blood. We could grab an evolving wilds its foil to fix our mana, or we could get a dread drum. Oh, or another movement strider. Um, yeah, I think we. I think we're that we're with the double baku and triple thief of hope. I really think we just want to load up on yep. spirits. Sure. Yep. I, I'm not used like I'm not trained to look for that Nameless card. inversion absolutely yeah, that's awesome Slam so it. good for us oh and maybe one of the like there's also the so, so yeah there's just some dead packs there yeah. for us and all of a sudden it's back to like I would I would yeah. take this yeah I would take this yeah. I would take this and, but I'm going to take the uh, nameless inversion that's gonna be a very good card any game we draw on it if we do want to death denied <laughs> we could, like, I don't think do we want four I don't think we need four of those I, I like that. I like a singleton death denied. Uh, if they kill off an early thief of hope and we don't draw another one, like you get it back, you get two of them back, and they come back to your hand. I, it's instant speed. Yep, I did remember liking this card. I mean, for four mana and, and it's turn, just it's you get like, two creatures back. If to your we hand. get back one creature that gets back a bunch of other creatures, like that's just so good, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think we take the changeling. Other uh, only other. Carapace, but I mean that. I don't think. Blocking. I don't think that's our plan. Yeah, I think we take the change. Yeah, because I mean, we could theoretically win this game without attacking. Yeah, yeah. the only thing we didn't get was the uh, sacking spirits guy. I'd really like to see one of those, but second chancery. I mean, yeah. What else are you gonna pick? We could cut the rootkin. Rootkin is so good in the graph deck. It is, but we've been seeing last pick <laughs> helium squirters. I'd rather improve our deck then. Okay. We're probably at the threshold. I mean, three and limited is a lot. Why? Wow. How many uh, nest that's, invaders that's could seven, we have had? Six or seven <laughs> nest invaders. We is this a small set? <laughs> no, there's like 260 cards. You shouldn't see that many. All right. Well. Yeah. Uh, another shrivel for the board. Shrivel. Shrivel. We dodge shrivel pretty. Pretty well. Pretty well. Wow, this is going to be a fun deck to build. We actually have, like, cuts to make and stuff. Yeah, we'll see. Well, I guess, like, this isn't there. I like this deck a lot. These, these Thief of Hopes. Yeah, I mean, basically, if we can get a Thief of Hope online in turn three and keep it alive, um, we got to be in good position. Uh, we do not want the Vampire. I would cut no. the Enforcer, right? Yeah. Now we're back to the sadness packs that we got at the beginning. Our, we have a profane command hiding off to the right, I think. Yeah, and profane command gets back, like, for five mana, gets back a thief. Is this gut shot starting? No, we're not starting gut shot. <laughs> okay. Uh, probably not starting two shrivels, and probably not even starting one. Probably not starting one. That's 23. 
we can probably cut um we can probably add a card to the deck realistically sign and blood wheel that's awesome we want sign and blood <clears throat> yeah so the one thing the one thing the bounce lands allow you to do is yep. actually drop to like 16 lands if you want them uh reason being is uh is, they they, they yeah. tap for two. So like having a bounce land and a, and one land in your opener means you have access to three mana on turn three. Yeah. I don't... Do we want to do that? With, like, I guess our curve isn't that high. We not get any of the spirits, uh, tendril, tendrils, agonies. Oh, Plague of Skull is yeah. great. That is awesome. Pick up third from last. Yeah. That actually, like, actually really helps. Yep. I don't think we have any artifacts we care about. No. Thing. Drop. We take the Dread Drone. I don't know if we play it. Probably not. That was weird. That was a weird draft. I'm happy with it, but that was... I saw a lot of stuff that we... I don't feel like anybody else was spirits. No, no. <laughs> so, like, I don't think that we... Yeah, we I mean, do we want to drop a... I think maybe drop a Bloodthrown Vampire? Yep, we drop one Vampire. We might drop both. I mean, it's okay. Do we drop the Dread Drone? So I do think that vamp the Bloodthorn Vampire is okay as a one of in this deck just because Sure. Like so yeah, that's uh twenty four and then we'd run sixteen lands with this, which is probably okay with the three bounce lands. Yeah, I mean that is my biggest complaint about uh this format about does. this format is that there's not Badger Tribal. We're still yeah, holding out for the <laughs> I've asked wizards to help us, um, you know, if they have any badgers to spoil in the future, to let us, you know, spoil <laughs> them for future sets. I think there's only four badgers when we were coming up with yeah. our name for our stream. Um, we went through the list, and I, I particularly like Charging Badger because it's a 1-1 one, one trample. Like, it, it's like this, thinks it's this big ferocious creature, but it's it's not. So, you know, kind of like us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've talked about it a little bit before, but yep. it, it makes the most sense. And since we're from Madison, UW-Madison, we both work there, both graduated there. Yes, it makes a lot of so sense. So we just want 16 lands here. I think we want 16 lands. Um, yep, and I think we've got... that's Those are the ones we want to start. I don't think there's anything in the board. Okay. Um, so yeah, like I said, I've only played the crew lands in cube where I'm scared to death of them. Like, yep. I will still play them because I, I realize they're powerful, but God, it feels bad to lose to them. Or to, like, have one and have somebody mess with it or just, like... I wonder I wonder what the sign in bloods if we really want to do, like, nine swamp. So, we're okay. We're okay with the... Str I mean, the striders we don't need until four. Yep. Two, of, two of our bounce lands are white. Yep. So we have seven. So right now it's seven and nine. Yep. I think I could see six ten here. I think because the sign of bloods hopefully draws in. The only more double. The only double white is ghost console. Mm -hmm. Which and, I mean, but like, yeah, we have double black here, double black, and yeah, let's do it. Yeah. So the sixteen land this scares the hell out of me. But if if. People say it's good. I, I, I did some triple Ravnica throwback okay. drafts and ran 16. And with triple bounce land, our odds of having one fairly early is mm -hmm. good. And just having one and one land is so good. Yeah. I mean, I'm happy to admit my, uh, my ignorance. Oh, do you want to update our pill? To... Yeah. <laughs> what is this? Well, this is... Uh, yeah, so that was... A, with DTK, we had to like think of names for our decks. This one's just like... Yeah, but we can... <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, Wrath of Wrath wants us to go to fifteen, but I don't. I I, 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 I get the argument. There's a good chance that you might be right. Um, one thing is we actually have a lot of flood insurance with our. Um, I, I would. I mean, I haven't played. So I'm talking on my ass here. Um, so like with Soul Shift, you would imagine that you, having too much mana isn't necessarily a bad thing because you're getting cards yeah. back. Um. So chat saying potentially moving the chanceries and needing more planes with ghost council taking out the what taking out yeah i, th I don't know i don't know I, though i have not i i know i know in ravnica they were good and i played with them a couple times um i do know getting like two in your opener and those are your only two lands is, is you have to mulligan because you actually can't even play a land 
Yeah. So there's a point at which too many is bad. I do know that. Um, but I think that point's closer to like five or six if you think about it. I think it's. It, I think three is probably the threshold. I think you four think so? is bad. So if someone says sixteen land, add a planes, take out a chancery. I could get behind that. So why? But it takes out the it takes out the odd. If you run three and you get two in your opener, you have to mulligan. How likely is that though? Three more often three than three divided think. by forty. More often than you think, less likely than it's Where probable. It's... <laughs> they do they do come in tapped as well, so you, sure. you know. But but what I was thinking is we don't really need these on time necessarily. Yeah, but I mean it, the format is going to be sure. semi aggressive. So I let's get behind. Let's, let's... Why don't we stick? Why don't we? I, I think maybe let's. My vote would be we stick this, but then think about keep that in mind for sideboarding against an aggressive deck. You're driving. It's your call. I'm fine with that. Yeah, I I think three. Someone mentioned don't play more than four. Okay. Um, four would be four carus would be the threshold I would say like okay. I would probably hedge and do three actually just because um, okay if, they can they you know I I was I mean again I don't have experience with them and I think part of being we'll listen a decent magic player is to our know most, our to most know number where of viewers incorrect. ever is the ten and we have two hundred and twelve now so we'll listen to chat we'll yeah. <laughs> we'll listen to the, the voice of the masses and see how this goes uh, but I'm this. And I'm really glad that we're in Swiss because this looks like the kind of deck we would draft. It would look really good. And we'd then we screw and then we just one, and then we're out of here. And we're not actually Swiss. This so we're doing a, the new six two 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 format. Oh my god! Which Brian and I really like because we're not we're not moto grinders. We love to play Magic. We've been playing. I've been playing since Ice Age. Brian since Tempest. No, I, well I've been playing since like. Fallen Empires. For, what? Fallen Empires. I see. Yeah, I've been playing since, so about the same time. Yeah, and then I, I quit for a little bit. But then yeah, we back. everyone takes breaks from Magic, but we haven't. But we've been playing. We've been doing streaming, playing a lot. I have a cube. I run a lot. We're gonna do Grand Prix Madison this year, so we're excited about that. But uh, but for us, you know, we're both married, and uh, mm -hmm. budget wise, uh, doing a six three two two gives us or six two two twos give us a better uh, odds of. Uh, picking up some packs so we can keep the cost down for us so. exactly and i and i think i mean we don't we aren't total scrubs so hopefully no. we can play this deck uh as well as it deserves to be played no, i mean so. we had the skill to get past a uh a death denied or sorry a profane, profane command, command second and, and then we had the skill <laughs> to get past a ghost council third well we're already in we also we spirits, also like blind blind pick a thief of hope <laughs> <laughs> yeah you yeah are, sorry so about that middle, viewers who middle, on during that time yeah. i don't Oh, I'm going to go grab my mouse. In the middle of pack one, uh, Brian had double-clipped on a Thief of Hope and accidentally double-clipped again before we saw this n that this the next pack. And uh, it just happened to be on a second Thief of Hope, so we back-to-back -back Thief of Hopes, and we said, well, I guess we're going Spirits. This deck does look pretty good. The one card I wish we had was the, uh, the Spirits, Tendrils of Agony, the... Two damage, gain two life, and then you can sack spirits and and repeat it. I, I think if we are um, out of ways of winning the game, something's gone wrong though. Like I understand, but it, it's it's a great way to finish, you know, when you need to. So you can also like value it middle of the game and like soul shift a couple spirits back or get your nameless and virgin.